Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here today, my name is Alex, and thank you so, so much for being here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I am actually gonna be going through some of my Netflix and Crave recommendations and like reviews. It is a rainy day here in Toronto, so I kind of thought it would be a good idea to kind of go with those vibes and do like a nice little like Netflix Crave um, recommendations video because this weather always just makes me feel like curling up into bed and just watching a good movie or a good TV show and having a little binge session. There will not be any spoilers in this. It will be strictly like recommendations, but I will just give my personal opinion of like what I thought just prior to you guys watching these shows if you haven't already, but do not worry, I will not give out any spoilers. I for one, that is one of my pet peeves. So don't worry, I will not be a savage today. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you have watched any of these shows or what you guys think of them. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, it will be linked right here. And never forget to subscribe, it will be right here. Turn on that bell, join the fam, we are all here for it. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. All right, so I made a list on my phone of all of the things that I've watched recently that I would recommend to people. Especially during COVID, I feel like people who are working less or working from home or whatever their circumstance, people are just looking to watch more things like TV or movies or like whatever, YouTube, subscribe, listening to podcasts, movies, whatever it is. People are just, they just want, just want the good. So first I will start with Crave. If you do not have a subscription to Crave, I will have the timestamps in the description down below so you can just skip to the Netflix part of this video. However, if you do have Crave, these are the shows that I would recommend most. I know that they have a limited selection of movies, but for the sake of this video, because Crave is more geared at TV shows, I'm just gonna focus on the TV shows that I would recommend you guys watching. So first and foremost, probably my favorite TV show on the planet Earth, forever and ever, like I would die for this show, is Friends. Friends to me is one of the best shows. It is so well written. The characters are so well written. Like everything is just incredible. The storyline is great. So the premise of Friends is basically about these six friends who are living in New York City, who are basically just trying to get by, living their lives, kind of like meeting new people, getting in relationships, having new jobs. And it's just kind of like there's the story of their life. And I think there are like 11 seasons. I could be wrong about that, but great cast really really funny like the characters are absolutely hilarious and during a time like COVID I feel like it's really important to like have those kinds of outputs like whenever I watch it it always puts me in a better mood no matter how I'm feeling if I feel heavy or if I'm not having the best day or I'm not motivated Friends is just a forever show you can watch it for whatever mood you're in it is just the best and I love it <laughs> also side note do you guys know what type of Friends character you would be if you do watch the show? Because if you do know, I can actually say that all of my friends call me Monica because I'm like hyperactive, I always like to clean, but comment down below if you guys can see Monica and me at all. So the next show that I've recently actually started watching and it was because of my parents is Seinfeld. So Seinfeld is basically the story of this guy, Jerry Seinfeld, and his three other friends. And it's just basically like kind of like Friends in that like, it's the story of their life, but it revolves especially around like Jerry and how he's a stand-up comedian and how he's trying to make like a living and it's just all about like the ups and downs of their life and it's really funny. And honestly, a lot of people that I've spoken to about sitcoms, there's always like How I Met Your Mother, Friends, and Seinfeld. Obviously there are other ones too, but just like talking about kind of like older sitcoms. And I've always heard a lot of people referencing Seinfeld jokes and like, oh, like remember the Seinfeld episode? And I kind of just sit there like, And so I really wanted to get a handle on like what all of these references were. I have started watching it. It is really funny. However, my heart is just, it's still with friends because like friends, friends are forever. Oh my God. But Seinfeld is really funny and the characters are also really well written. Jerry Seinfeld is so hilarious and I'm not a huge fan of stand-up comedy, but he is one person that like I actually would go and see his comedy because he just has very simple light funny humor. So if you guys are looking for another sitcom, I would recommend Seinfeld as well, but definitely check out Friends first. That's just me though. Sorry. Next, I would say Sex and the City. Sex and the City is basically about four single girls who kind of get in and out of relationships and they basically are 
just learning to live in New York City with their girlfriends, but also having to balance like relationships and their jobs and like just like everything in life. So if you're a single girl, it is a great show for you. Obviously, it's kind of like your classic girly show. You can watch it with your girlfriends, you can watch it by yourself. It's just the best show to just unwind and like the storyline is hilarious, the characters are great. It's just so classic and especially if you are a single gal, you will love it. We are here for it. That show is everything. It is everything. Give it a watch if you have never watched it. It's very classic, great characters, great cast, and yeah. So we're kind of going from like the lightest to kind of like the darkest. I guess. Okay, so now we're gonna go kind of like to the dark side. So another show on Crave that's really, really great, but it is really dark is Your Honor. Basically the premise of Your Honor is about this guy, Brian Cranston, who by the way, genius, he is amazing. It's basically about Brian Cranston, who is a judge and his son. And basically something happens that kind of puts Brian Cranston in a position, I'm not gonna spoil anything, that he has to decide what his values are and there are lots of twists and turns it is a show that will kind of like keep you on the edge of your seat there is a lot of angst and it's honestly really really good again it is very dark so if you kind of wanted something lighter right now it might not be the best choice but if you wanted something that's going to kind of keep you guessing and like make you wonder like how it's all going to end then it is a good show and the acting is really good so those are my recommendations for Crave. So next we're gonna move on to Netflix. So for Netflix, I do have an, a bunch of movies that I would recommend to you guys. Personally, my taste is that I basically watch anything. So I watch movies with my parents, I watch movies by myself, I watch movies with my friends sometimes. Like, I just, I watch literally anything. Either way, this is obviously just strictly my opinion and everyone is entitled to have their opinion and say what they want about these shows or movies. This is just my recommendations, especially if you need like light things because like I said before, it is a hard time right now for a lot of people so we need some light fluffiness in our lives and whether that be just like a lighter plot, um, lighter content, or just if it's kind of like guilty pleasure not the greatest acting but just good stuff we need it right now okay so next I want to talk about a few movies so one that I actually watched two nights ago which still has me like a little bit shook is this movie called Greta so Greta is actually a movie from 2018 with Chloe Grace Moretz and it's basically just about Chloe Grace Moretz and she's this girl living in New York City and she basically finds this bag on the subway and she basically looks inside the purse for who this purse belongs to and then she finds that it belongs to a woman so she's going to return it to her. Just the story of what happens after she returns the purse. It was really interesting, kind of predictable, kind of not, but definitely very thrilling and I really really enjoyed it. I would recommend you guys watch it. If you don't love horror movies but you want to be thrilled in some very like minimal way without being like absolutely shooketh like by like a ghost coming out of like a closet or something like this is like a good hybrid like, i would recommend you guys check that one out if you're looking for something a little bit more exhilarating right now okay so the next movie is called the next three days so the next three days i guess this would be technically identified as like an action movie so this one it's not going to spoil too much because if you googled it this would probably be the premise when you read it online but basically it's about this couple with a child and the mother at the beginning of the movie she is arrested for murdering someone and obviously like the husband knew nothing of this so he kind of questions whether it's true or not but she's in prison and while she's in prison he kind of has to figure out like how he's going to be able to get her out so he starts inquiring with his attorneys but they start thinking like you know what like she's not going to get out the evidence is kind of like against her whether or not she did it which you end up figuring out by the way but in the meantime he starts to devise a plan and he's trying to actually break her out of jail for the sake of his family for his sake and it's a really good movie like i would say at least like a good half of the movie is just devoted to like him like trying to come up with this plan but then he actually like tries to execute it anyways really good movie i would recommend you guys check it out it is like definitely actiony but really good the next movie that I'm gonna, I'm gonna recommend to you guys is this movie called premonition and premonition i would say is somewhere in between like a drama and a thriller it's basically the story of sandra bullock and 
her character is a mother and she is having these premonitions of her husband dying and the timeline is kind of confusing at first like when you first start watching it but as the story goes on it starts to make more and more sense it is really really interesting i thought that this movie was really good it was really thought provoking it kind of makes you think about stuff like that which is kind of scary and sad but also cool all at once anyways it was really cool really good acting and a really interesting story i would really recommend you guys watch that one if you kind of want something that's a little bit like enlightening but it's definitely by no means like light it's still like fairly dark but still like an interesting movie and not too new either so anyways it was really good Okay, so the next movie that I have to mention, just because I have to, and I know I'm late, this came out months ago, but I have to give a mention to To All the Boys I've Loved Before, Always and Forever. Oh my gosh, guys, watch that movie. Oh my goodness. Personally, loved the first one. Like, the first one was, like, amazing. Like, loved it. The second one was, like, okay, but, like, it was kind of too predictable for me. I don't know if I absolutely loved it, but the third one, I thought, was not as great as the first one, but not as bad as the second one. Like, it was somewhere in the middle. I also really liked how it was, like, in New York City. It's basically about... I'm not going to spoil anything if you guys haven't seen any of them, but it's basically about this girl who's in high school, and she's looking to go to university or college in the States, and she's applied places, and she's kind of, like, hearing back from places, and she's trying to figure out what she wants, where she wants to go, and she has friendships and, like, relationships, and she has to figure things out. I'm not going to spoil anything if you guys haven't watched the first and second, but the third one... Oh my god, I was a little bit emotional. I was like, oh, it's the end. Like, but there were like three movies. Like, the whole story was just like really good. Like, I really like, thank you, Netflix. That, that was great. And the last movie that I have to mention that I'm not even gonna say is like the greatest acting because, oh my god, it's not. But I have to just mention it because the third one is coming out. Can anyone guess what it is? The Kissing Booth! Oh my goodness. The Kissing Booth 3 is coming out this summer and oh my goodness. I am so... I'm not going to spoil anything, but for those of you who know what I'm talking about, who is on edge about this? Like who... Like oh my god. Oh my god. Please don't spoil this in the comments for anybody, but oh my goodness. If you have seen it, like what do we think is going to happen? Guys, like I am getting emotional thinking about it. Oh my god. Again, not the greatest acting, but come on. Like it's so bad, it's good. It's just that cheesiness that we all need right now and I am so here for it, guys. If you haven't watched it, do yourself a favor. Have a nice little like self-care night. Turn on that movie. Have a good laugh, have a good cry. It is I'm done. I can't I'm done. Okay guys, and just like that, um, those are all of my Netflix recommendations for now. If you guys would like me to do this as like a monthly series, like I'm totally down for that. I'm literally watching Netflix movies, like I'm Crave, like I literally have so many streaming services and I love to watch movies. Please comment down below if you guys have any recommendations of movies that I would like based on any of the suggestions that I gave you guys today. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys have seen any of these movies, if you guys like any of them. And don't forget to subscribe down below right here. Turn on that notification bell. There's a lot more content coming and I would love to hear from you guys and what you think and if you guys have any other recommendations. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It will be linked right here. Um, I do have some videos coming that will involve some engagement with my Instagram, so I would love to hear from you guys on there as well. And otherwise, I think that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys being here with me. I know that I am just around 100 subscribers now, and I know that like that isn't a huge deal for a lot of people, but for me, that's a really big step. So thank you guys so, so much for constantly supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah! Bye.